Hey Peaches, so today is October 28th, 2014. What day actually is it? Today's Tuesday. So this Thursday, the 30th, I will be turning 22, and uh, that's exciting. So I had seen this video from Live Lava Live, which is Mitchell Davis. If you guys have not heard of that channel, I'm sorry. Live Lava Live is basically what started me here on YouTube. Um, I used to watch their videos forever ago. Like every single time they'd put a new one out, I'd be the first one there watching it. And so they're what inspired me. Point is, Mitchell did this video called 23 on 23. Uh, last year when he turned 23, he did 23 things that happened or facts or whatever funny things like this. And so I decided to steal his idea and do 21 on 21. In order for this video not to be super long, we're going to get started now. Number one, I got a salon job. Number two, I dyed my hair blonde. And I think this is the first video I've done with my blonde hair, so enjoy. Number three, I decided that I'm going to like what I'm going to like and I don't care what anybody thinks about it. Four, I rededicated slash got saved uh, in my Christian faith. Five, what goes along with that is I also decided to get baptized. Six, I'm obsessed with decorating and organizing now. Like, it is a problem. That's all I did the whole weekend. Seven, I became a licensed cosmetologist, you guys, and that is such a huge milestone in my life. Eight, I've met some of the most standout people this year, being that, you know when you meet someone and you just know you're going to be friends for a long time or that person's going to be involved in your life, either in a big way for a short time or for uh, a big way in a long time or whatever it is, um, I've met more of those people this year than I have ever so far. Nine, I've decided that I'm going to be happy and I firmly believe that being happy is a choice. Ten, Gabby turned one this year and then I started thinking maybe she turned two but i'm pretty sure she turned one and she did she turned one this year in like may and gabby's my cat if you're new here number 11 i hit 200 subscribers this year and i worked my booty off to get to 200 and then 12 i hit 300 13 i got my last two wisdom teeth out i have a whole video about that experience that i did uh shortly after i got them out so you can check that out 14 i debated putting this one in here um, or not because it's not a happy thing that happened but it is something that happened this year and um, it was monumental which does not mean necessarily good it just means it was a big thing that happened and that is that my grandpa passed away this year and my grandpa was my very favorite person ever on earth and uh, so that's changed a lot of the ways that I look at things and feel about things and feel about people 15 I became obsessed with books now I know probably what you're thinking like don't you mean reading but I don't I just mean like I like to have a lot of books I think that it looks nice 16 I got my very first massage this year which was another experience it's gonna be another video maybe at some point if you guys want that 17 I've bought more graphic tees this year than I ever have in my entire life like if if every single shirt I own could be a graphic t-shirt that's all I would have Number 18, I painted my first pumpkin. I'm going to put a picture of it on Instagram. Um, and I've carved pumpkins before, but I've only done that once as well. And you would think my birthday being the day before Halloween, I'd do that more, but I don't. Uh, and this year I decided, I don't know if you guys can see, this one right here I carved with my actually clay carving tools. So I just did the surface and then my painted one is on this table and the one that's just pretty and plain is over here. 19. I've finally gotten to the point where I uh, am just going to work on being a better person in every single area of my life and uh, I'm finally at a point where I can do that and not feel bad about it. Number 20. This is kind of a funny thing to include but you guys, I looked forever and ever and ever for a couple's devotion book um, as in boyfriend and girlfriend and there's just like nothing and so I finally found one that's for couples that are dating and not married. And that's an accomplishment. And number 21 um, is just that I've gained a church family this year. I've gained a work family this year. And I've just gained a lot of people that care about me and that I care about them. And I can have kind of a deeper friendship and relationship and connection with people. Because um, time's limited. And something I've learned this year about relationships and friendships and <laughs> people in general, I guess, is just that when you're given something good, um, appreciate it while you have it. And if it gets taken from you or if, you know, something happens where you don't have that connection anymore, just to gracefully let go of it and look at it as 
being thankful that you had the time that you did have. So make the most of the time so that if you don't get the time anymore, it's it outweighs it. Make sense? So that was my 21 on 21. I hope you guys enjoyed the concept of this video. I think it's super neat to look back on the year in a video form like this and see what all happened. Um, let me know what you want to see for my next video. If you have questions for a Sarah Speaks video, I just haven't gotten a lot of questions, um, not enough to make a, a Sarah Speaks video here lately. So if you do have questions, leave them below. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought that it was good. And let me know what happened this year for you because everyone had a birthday this year, not just me. So um, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget that you suggest and I do my best. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.